Hello fellow simmers and welcome to my next Train Simulator 2021 video which is basically carrying on from the previous video we did of the Isle of Wight route by Just Trains and today we're going to be looking at the Isle of Wight steam railway section. This is Samuel Beeman speaking of BLS and I hope you enjoy this video. So you are due to depart Smallbrook Junction at 1511. The passengers are all very excited but first you must couple to the other end of the carriages as you will be pulling them to Wooten. Uncouple and use the loop to head the train. Okay so let's get into this and start our scenario. So here we are at Smallbrook Junction in the 040 saddle tank locomotive Hornthorne Leslie Invincible. So I'm guessing our first instruction will be to uncouple our coaches like so. Oh Christ, that was a bit of a, um, a hit there, wasn't it? And now we shall, um, yeah, put us into reverse. There we go. Our brake needs to be released. Just there. Bit of a two on the whistle, and off we go. Stick that down there. So, like I say, this is some very old DLC now, um, and it's it's not bad for its age, considering you know. And I mean, so this is obviously the Just Trains 040 saddle tank locomotive. This has been also used and recycled for the um, the, uh, the, 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 the the Dovetail Games Marketplace saddle tank packs as well. Theoretically, it's the same model. This is what it was based off. So let's make sure our points are set. They set automatically. That's good. Pleasant little thing, this 040 saddle tank. I do like a little 040. They are nice, aren't they? Stock running on the main line over there, look. Careful when coupling up here. Nice and steady. Wins the race, as they say. <laughs> Beautiful. Look at that. And now we shall hitch up to our stock. Like so. And oh, we seem to have moved. Oh. Got to give it a squeeze, folks. Got to give it a squeeze, as they say. Oh, 
There we go. Oh, we can set off. Brilliant. Well, we seem to be rolling now. It's not good, is it? We could take a screenshot from this angle. There we are. That can be our thumbnail for the video. Kid you assets, kid you clatter. So you know, like the, or it sounds like a horse is clattering. It's all, you know what I mean? It's a hideous sound. And here we are inside one of the compartments. I mean, it's very, it's pretty pixelated, isn't it? I mean, you. you but then just think that this is a 10 year old route now so it's not exactly going to be to nowadays sort of standards but it's okay and it, it looks so it looks all right it's not bad there would have been a whistle sign there so yeah it's back there look so sort of there wasn't we So, modelling wise, I think it's great, I mean, I do love what JT have done on the modelling of the um, 040 with all these riveting around the edges of the smoke box door there, it's really nice, you know, and they've captured the overall look of the Hawthorne Leslie 040s very, very well. We've even got riveting on the buffer beam and stuff like that as well. The textures on the actual buffers themselves, they're there, they look okay, and we've got like these rivets sort of round in a circle on these buffers which I believe are there in reality although they are sort of photo textured and just plastered on they're not 3D effect which is a bit of a shame really we've got the invincible uh, nameplate there which is slightly you know it is okay it's not as crisp as as what it could be but it's there and it looks it looks okay it's not as crisp as nowadays but then as I say it's a 10 year old add-on so Ashy is a request stop, so if people are on the platform, you need to make a stop for them. So we need to make sure that we look out for Ashy platform to see, you know, if there's anybody waiting. But it looks like we've got to stop there anyway, according to the um, the instructions. So. Going mean, back to the modelling in general, uh, the, obviously the texturing has been updated since its original release. So as I say, it was this route was originally released in 2007 or 2008-2009 for use in Rail Simulator, and then it got uh, updated to Railwork standards, and then obviously the texturing was updated a bit, and they added the rain on the windows and stuff like that. But apart from that, it's still all original. We 
even got a nice sort of builder's plate on there, which looks good, doesn't it? Got all the lamp irons, vacuum hose. Oh, you know, for, all, for, for a 10 year old model, it's not bad at all, really. And, and it has been updated a few times. And probably the, more, the most up to date version of these sort of saddle tanks is in the DTG Marketplace saddle tank pack, which I may do a review later on at some point. Coaching stock. I really do like this coaching stock to be honest, the nice sort of vintage carriages, these old Victorian coaches, just think about them, they have a nice sort of charm to them. Horseshoe boxes I suppose you could have horse boxes, they're known as horse boxes anyway, and sort of style. One thing I will say about this old Just Trains route is obviously compared to these days routes the scenery is obviously slightly bland compared to it but I mean obviously back in the day I thought this was the dog's bollocks I literally this route was the first route that I thought yes wow look at this it looks fantastic you know what I mean and I have just overshot the platform ah bollocks okay so I've failed the scenario but we can carry on down to you know our destination so we can just it's hard to review and drive at the same time guys I'm sorry about that so we have made a little error there which is obviously and, and, and already you know it's Look, I've already made mistakes, so we failed this scenario anyway. There you go. Let's just carry on. Anticipating, I was looking forward to driving the 483, you know, the tube stock on the main line, and and it was nice to be able to get a new steam locomotive for the game, which is this 040 saddle tank. Because obviously, at that time, all we had was the Black 5 and the 7F, the default ones that come with bathroom, which were just you know, you just started getting fed up of them in the end. And it says 20 mile an hour limit. Technically, this route should be 25 mile an hour limit, but it says 20 on here. I don't know whether that's because I believe that is not the correct line speed, but there you go. I mean, scenery wise, it could, like I say, it could use an update. I mean, you know, somebody could go into this route and, you know, change it and make it look a little bit more like to nowadays standards and just update the scenery but I mean in all honesty it's, it's not too bad considering its age uh, there is a few bits of repeated scenery as we can see but, um, but come on guys you know 10 years old and you know it's still going strong and it's still looking good but this was the route that sort of started it all really this was the first really detailed route that you thought wow this is fantastic this is next level stuff you know what I mean with all this this 3D track stuff and 
and you know and just general things you've got a lot of stock and a lot of assets with this route as well which are used on a lot of third party routes and and you know what i mean and, and this this route is probably the route that uses it is, it, it, it's the route that a lot of freeware routes base off of this this is usually the, the good template for using for creating routes you know what i mean and there's a lot of assets that are used in custom routes but from this route so this was really the one that really started it all said in the previous video guys let me know in the comments if you think it's a good idea for me to create a scenario pack for the Isle of Wight because obviously at the moment uh, I'm under construction of making a North Somerset Railway scenario pack and um, also obviously I'm helping out with the Traction Studios Mid Norfolk Railway and also editing the Whitwell and Reapham Railway route and the Trundley Close Railway Centre route as well. Uh, Will's been doing a lot of work on that recently. Will Braddock has been doing a lot of fantastic detailing on that. And we're looking forward to seeing what work he's done between Ashton and the new station I've plonked down. Sort of the fictional section of the route. So we're looking forward to seeing that. So here we are approaching Haven Street, which is basically the main headquarters for the Isle of Wight Steam Railway. And certainly my most favourite station on this route. Just I just really like it, you know, it's just you know, the detail on it is really nice. And you know, the old southern region these sort of stone signs and, and just, you know, general bits and pieces, although I don't know what's going on with this. That's, 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 yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. That's, that's not very it's not cut out very well, is it? I mean, this is nice, this building here with the southern emblem on the top there and, and just general bits and pieces, the bins and good shed. Loco shed with no locos in because the only loco you get with this is this 040. But obviously if you get the austerity pack and the terrier pack you get more resident locos of the route as well as the um, the freeware. Adams O2 that you can get from UKTS, which is another good one to see. You should wait until 1526 to depart Haven Street. If you are already behind schedule, you can leave now. Well, we can wait so we get to look round Haven Street like we've been doing. We've got these old coaches and stuff which are just like lying about, like these old. Uh, like broken up bits and pieces, garden shed there. Hmm. One thing I would say about this route though is that even back in the day it would have been nice to see some more stock introduced for the Isle of Wight steam railway because all we really got was these southern region wagons and the um, obviously the the 040 and the coaches. Um, it would have been nice to see a little bit more, I guess, in in some sort of sense. But, you know, you can't complain because basically with this original pack, you got the Isle of Wight route with obviously the 040 saddle tank Invincible. Which I'm going to take a screenshot there because it looks quite nice. There we go. So you've got the 040 Saddle Tank Invincible, you've got obviously the 1938 stock Class 483s in two liveries, the Network South East livery and the Maroon Half Yellow Panel livery. You've got the coach in stock and the wagons of the Isle of Wight Steam Railway as well. And you also got the Class 66 diesel locomotive for freight duties on the Oxford to Paddington line, one of the default routes. 
So you've got an awful lot with this original, um, you know, CD. So it was originally on a CD release. I remember having the CD, the actual CD in the case. And yeah, it was it was it was a really impressive pack for back in the day. You know what I mean? It was it was it was the the first proper root DLC for Rail Simulator, and it was a very enjoyable experience. And and even today, it's still it's still enjoyable. It is a very nice route, and I think it always will be a gem in the train simulator world. It will always be that route where you think, "Oh yeah, I remember that." You know, it's 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 a very special route in that sense. Right, so it's twenty six now, so we can depart. It does take a while to, to leave this. It takes a while for the brakes to come off to depart. I've noticed that on here. And it's a shame about these lamps that you can't see the top on them there, but then in here, yeah, then it just sort of comes in and it's not cut out properly. It's a bit. of a sound in here uh, but in the DTG marketplace saddle tanks they have sort of added that in and made it better so you have more of a of a sound as it as it coasts along as it were sign coming up there. It is indeed. With it. be nice to see some fencing here it's like that 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 that's probably not like that in reality got some cows and some wildlife look I mean scenery wise like I say it's it is pretty decent um, but like I say there could be some upgrades on it but it's not bad it's not bad it honestly it isn't bad and this was JT's 
first ever route for rail simulator, aka Railworks. But it does go to show though, these days expectations are pretty high. And so here we are arriving in Wooten, which is the terminus of the Isle of Wight steam railway, like Smallbrook. Got those nice concrete signs again. The uh, little, yeah, we've got the all these like little details. All the white steam railway timetables. It's nice, really nice. I say scenario and incomplete because we didn't obviously complete all the session, the, 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 the tasks. So, you finished the scenario and driven the length of the line, but there was one or more failures along the way. Try again and aim to follow the instructions. All right, aim, aim to follow the instructions. I tried to, I tried to follow the instructions. I tried to aim for it. <laughs> Jesus, the thing's harsh, isn't it? Oh God, oh, I feel, I feel offended. Yeah. Okay, so that has ended my video. So that was the Island Liner Day Rover Part 2, which is basically, obviously, the continue on from the previous video that we did of the Isle of Wight route. And the 150th subscriber special, which I obviously, again, thanks guys for the 150 subs, and I look forward to more videos in the future. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Do check us out on Facebook under BLS Train Sim Creations. Also, you can check us out on our website at BLS Site. So it's um, www.moebeeman at wix.com slash BLS Site. That's where you can find us. And also, we've got another website known as UK Train Sounds, which is where we do the Train Z um, sounds for the trains, s trains with a Z series. And we make, uh, obviously, sound packs for that. And if you want to go and check that out, I'll also link that in the description of the video as well. So you've got plenty of links to look at, guys. And again, thanks for watching. This has been Samuel Beeman of BLS. And goodbye for now.